a Navy ship, a symbol of American freedom and power. Have you ever seen one and wished you could come aboard and see what's inside? At Evansville, Indiana, you have a rare opportunity to do just that at the LST-325 Museum. And it all starts from this ramp. LST stands for Landing Ship Tank. These ships were built to sail anywhere in the world, crash beaches, drop a gate, and deploy tanks and soldiers. Built in 1942 for World War II, it participated in the invasions of Sicily, Italy, and Normandy during D-Day. This is not to mention its service as a troop transport with thousands carried across the English Channel, as well as running supplies and the wounded back to station. During D-Day alone, the largest invasion in world history, it transported 396 soldiers, 30 officers, and 59 vehicles to the beach. This was while delivering a mighty assault of firepower. This ship had two twin 40 millimeter four single 40 millimeter, in addition to 12 single 20 millimeter gun mounts. It was one heck of a party crasher. If you've ever stood on a small boat, you'll be impressed at how solid it feels to stand on the warship's armored deck. Absolutely rock solid. The ship is 327 feet 9 inches long and has a range of up to 24,000 nautical miles. Two General Motors 900 horsepower engines will sail this out at 14 miles per hour. It's not blazing fast but it wasn't meant to be. During your tour, you'll see where the crew lived, as well as soldiers on their way to battle. Even though the ship looks pretty big from the dock, you'll be amazed at how large it is inside. It's absolutely cavernous. This ship held tanks and all kinds of equipment used to assault the enemy. And if anything broke, there was a machine shop to fix it. Many educational displays are here to be seen. This is a model of the LST-325 itself, made up of an incredible number of Legos. You'll also see a variety of other things during your visit as you cross over the mini bulkheads. including the captain's quarters. You'll notice curious Greek writing above the door. After World War II, the LST was loaned to the Greek Navy in 1964.
it was renamed the RHS Cyrus L-144 and was in active service until it was decommissioned in 1999. For many warships, the next stop is to be salvaged or sank into the ocean. But not for this ship. A group of American veterans decided to do something about this. They bought the LST in 2000, made repairs, and sailed over 4,000 miles back to the United States. To Evansville, Indiana. Evansville was once the site of a huge wartime ship building yard. In fact, 167 LSTs were built here. And it only seemed fitting that Evansville would be the LST 325's home. The ship often travels to other ports during the year, celebrating the military achievements of our armed forces, as well as the history of the LST 325 itself. Visiting the LST 325 is a rare opportunity to experience a piece of history and stand where brave men once stood. A living memorial to the men that sailed into the unknown to ensure freedom for all. The LST 325.